and uh, trying to arrange a little uh, activity for the three-year-old today and it sounds like a beach trip might be an option. Yeah, beach, something outdoors, yeah. Pat, because it's going to be a very nice spring day on the way. Temperatures will be a little bit warmer than average. We're going to come up uh, into the low and mid 70s for highs. As we look at our radar across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, most of us bright skies and dry, but not the case on the outer Cape. We've been still dealing with some rain this morning. It's moving down towards the south, so uh, going to be steering clear of the Ocean State and even Bristol County in Massachusetts, uh, where we're mostly sunny. This is our view from Echo Lake Pasco this morning. 50 degrees there, cool, dry, bright morning. And those temperatures going to be warming steadily here through these morning hours. It's pleasant next two days, mostly dry conditions. The exception could be a sprinkle. Eastern Massachusetts in the afternoon, but not a big deal. Late week rain. Thursday, Fridays are timing of it. Uh, much cooler to go along with those damp conditions and then the Memorial Day weekend. Looking pretty good so far. There's a warming trend that looks to be starting over the weekend. Uh, temperatures get warmer each of those three days, and we'll show you that in the seven day future cast as well. So about 55 in Smithfield right now. We're up to 55 Boston. Providence already close to 60, 57 Newport and about 56 degrees in Westerly. Uh, we got a little area of high pressure building in here behind our departing upper level storm system. It's still bringing some showers and clouds over Maine. And again, some of that activity clipping just far eastern Massachusetts, but clearing cool and drier for the rest of us. Those temperatures getting up to near 60 degrees here as we head into the 8 o'clock hour. Futurecast at 9 shows the last of those clouds and showers moving off of the Cape and skies are mostly sunny in the afternoon. I think brighter today than what we had yesterday. Watch what happens though late in the day. You get this little blip of green, small chance of a sprinkle late afternoon or early evening. Just a few isolated spots could see it. 11 o'clock at night, we're mostly clear in those Clear conditions lingering for much of the night and into your Wednesday morning. Mostly sunny start Wednesday. Looking at some clouds probably rolling in as the day goes on, but I do think we'll stay dry during the day Wednesday before we bring in a chance of showers Wednesday night. 75 today, Pawtucket, east side, and downtown North Providence, forecasting your high in the mid 70s. East and West Bays, you're looking good too. Mostly sunny skies, Riverside and Barrington Garden City at about 75. The South Coast, you're similar winds today from the north at about uh, 5 to 10 miles an hour. So 72 in Newport, but 74 Wickford and Charlestown, Block Island near 69. Mostly sunny, milder and, and mainly dry day here. Burrowville 73, Foster around 72, Johnston today near 74. Overall pretty nice day. Temperatures in the low 70s, New Bedford. Isolated showers sprinkle over here, Plymouth near 71, and Seekonk, the high today around 74. If you're headed out on the bay, visibility is unrestricted with a north wind 5 to 10 knots. High tides at about 20 past 1 in the afternoon. We just had a low tide just about an hour ago at 623 in the morning. Here's the seven day future cast. So dry today and tomorrow for the most part. And those Thursday, Friday future cast showing much cooler conditions. Showers likely a breezy day. We start to get back on track Saturday. You know, still put maybe a 20% risk of a shower for your Saturday with a high near 70. By Memorial Day Monday, we're up into the mid 70s.